In this video guys, I want to talk about skills, about active skills, about passive skills, let's find out which of them are better to choose, let's rank them! Ok, let's start with the worst tier, as for me you should definitely avoid these skills if you want to pass for example a hard chapter, for me it was chapter 30. So the first two skills are drones, they are not good against mobs nor bosses. Always avoid them guys, it's bad to choose energy collector, believe me, it will help you more. Military Bandage is another useless skill, it restores your health but when you for example crowd it with zombies, it does almost nothing. The next skill is also related to health, as in case with Military Bandage, in most cases it will be useless. The last skill from tier D is only good if you want to evolve your shuriken or you are farming. Ok guys, let's go to the next tier, tier C, as for me these skills are still useless, but sometimes you may need them. For example, Molotov can hit many enemies, but it's not doing high damage, so with low attack it is not so good. Boomerang is actually not that bad, but from my experience it is good only when you have it evolved and you have a lot of enemies. In most modes we have, in most chapters, it will not be needed. Boots are good for beginners and to evolve bowling skill, but when your speed will become high enough, it will not be needed. The next three skills actually are not that bad as I graded them, but they only good in combination with certain skills. For example, Adrenaline is good with bowling, but if you choose it with laser, it will be useless. Kinda the same situation we have with Armor, which reduces the damage you receive. It is good in specific situations, for example, against tough bosses or when you have a lot of shooters. Ok, let's move up to the next tier where we have better skills, tier B. Most skills we have here are more against mobs, not bosses. For example, the black hole is a really powerful skill, especially if you use the fruit for it. But again, it is powerful against mobs, not against bosses. Lucky stone will help you to get a few extra skills, but you need to get it at the beginning. Energy collector or magnet is good only in situations when you can barely move. Or for example, in world boss mode, it will help you to get skills faster. Ok guys, before we move to the next tier, let me show you how you can save your money in this game. You just need to download Huawei App Gallery, it's a store like a play store, download the game to read, bind your account to not lose your progress and use my and not only my discount. All the links and step by step instruction you will find in the description and comments of this video. In tier A, as for me we have powerful skills which will be useful almost in all modes. Of course there will be a few situations where they will not be good, but most of the time, believe me, you will need them. What can be better than tier A? Only these two skills, which will increase skills damage and reduce cooldown time for them. What do you think? Your thoughts, write in comments, subscribe my channel and would be great if you will like this video, because it helps me to make a better content for you.